Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Bio Lessons. My name is Alpana. Today I am going to explain you the process of digestion and glands involved in the digestion. In previous session, we learned about the organs of digestive system. The link is in description box. Let's start the video. The digestive system functions in the following ways. First step is ingestion. The process of taking food in the body through the mouth is called ingestion. Glands inside the mouth, salivary gland secretes saliva due to which food becomes moist. Saliva contains an enzyme called amylase or tylene which converts starch into maltose, a simple sugar. Apart from that, saliva contains sodium, potassium, bicarbonates and lysozymes. It means that the process of digestion starts from mouth. Saliva is alkaline in nature. Three pairs of salivary glands are secret saliva in human. Those are parotid gland, submandibular gland and sublingual gland. Second step is digestion. The process of conversion of complex food into simple substances with the help of enzymes present in the mouth, stomach and small intestine is known as digestion. The glands present in the walls of stomach are known as gastric glands. They secrete gastric juices which compose of three compounds. First, enzyme pepsin. It is required for the conversion of proteins into amino acids. This conversion requires acidic medium which provided by second component that is highly concentrated hydrochloric acid. Due to this acidic medium, most of the bacteria are killed. And third component is mucus. It protects the wall of stomach from hydrochloric acid. The gastric glands in infants secrete an enzyme renin which digests the milk proteins of mother milk. The third step is absorption. Digested food in liquid form gets absorbed into blood through villi by the process of absorption. Villi are the small finger like projections which are rich in blood supply through capillaries and present on the wall of small intestine. This helps in absorption of maximum amount of food and water into blood. Fourth step is assimilation. The process of delivering the absorbed food in blood up to each and every cell is assimilation. We will see the glands correspondence with small intestine. First, pancreas. Pancreas are the important gland in human body. Pancreas mainly secretes pancreatic juice. The pH of pancreatic juice is 7.8 to 8.3. It is composed of three enzymes. First, amylase. Carbohydrates are digested and converted into glucose with the help of amylase. Second, trypsin. Trypsin converts proteins into amino acids. Third, lipase. It converts fat into fatty acids. Note that pancreas also secrete insulin which controls the blood sugar level. Second, liver. Liver is the larger gland in the body which plays a major role in digestion. Liver secretes pile juice which is stored into gallbladder. Alkaline medium in the small intestine is provided and maintained by bile juice which having pH 7.7 .7. Bile juice and pancreatic juice are released into small intestine by a common duct. Excess of glucose is stored in liver in the form of glycogen. And last step is ejection. Undigested and non-absorbed food is thrown out from the body and this process is called ejection. So this is about the steps involved in digestion. If you like the information, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.